I am delighted to be joined on Panthers TV with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems by Panthers' latest signing, Kevin Demeng. Kevin, welcome to the Nottingham Panthers. Thanks for having me. And this has all come together pretty quickly, this whole elite series. Can you just take us a bit behind what discussions you've had with Director of Hockey, Guido Set, leading up to this moment of you signing? Uh, well, I was playing in the States and I got released. Um, I was doing my quarantine in Canada and Guillaume Doucet called me a couple of days after I finished my quarantine, actually. And he told me that um, there was chances that there was a little series or a little tournament that was going to happen in Nottingham. So I was like, yeah, I'm interested if, if, if you're looking for a player. So it took a couple of days, but uh, you sent me the contract and here I am. And had, had the Elite League been on your radar before Hockey in the UK? Is this like the first time you'd heard of it sort of thing? Um, Guillaume was in contact with me uh, for the past three years-ish. Um, he asked me if I was interested to come in the UK on my second or third year at university. And I told him I wanted to graduate first. Um, but uh, it wasn't the first time I, uh, I was in contact with Guillaume. That's for sure. And you also you playing in that youth sports league at University of Ottawa, and a lot of players who have come out of that league have done very well in the elite league. That that it kind of is a good preparation for the standard that is over here. So you must have seen the players that have come from that league and succeeded yeah. over here. Yeah, I know some players that uh, um, experienced uh, the UK league, and it's I heard it's a, a kind of similar kind of hockey, very fast paced hockey, uh, physical as well. But uh, very uh, lots of speed, that's for sure. So yeah, um, I know some players that play in the league, and I, I I'm looking forward to, to to experience that league as well. And obviously, you come over to play in this five week tournament, which is quite a, a unique thing, as we mentioned before. And there's a lot on the line as a team and personally as well, isn't there? Because it's almost a five week audition period for the future. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, as much as I'm going there to win and and and, and to perform. And and hopefully win all the games there in five weeks. You know what I mean. Um, but it's at the same time a showcase for me to to show what I can do for 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 next year. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a showcase for me at the same time. And one of the I've like reading up on you sort of thing. You've been described as a late bloomer in ice hockey circles. Do you think you're the you're starting to figure out your game now? Um, yeah. Um, I had a, I definitely had a, a tough junior career between 15 and 20 year, years old. Um, the timing was, wasn't perfect. Uh, I performed sometimes and sometimes I didn't. And I, uh, when I came to university, I, I, uh, I definitely found myself, I, if, if we can say it that way. But um, yeah, it, my four years at university and my four years junior aren't the same day and night. That's for sure. And if you could give us a, a scouting report on yourself on Kevin Demang, what would the scouting report be? Um, a fast player who loves to shoot the puck. Um, um, I love playing with the puck. I love being around the puck. Um, and I think I'm, I bring a lot of scoring chances uh, in a game. So, yeah, I think overall that's pretty much it. And you'll be wearing the number 17 whilst you were here with the Panthers. What goes into selecting that number? Because obviously you wore that when you were at university as well. Yes. Um, I always loved 17. When I was younger, I couldn't pick it because uh, other players were uh, choose that, choosing that number. But um, when I was really young, my favorite player was Ilya Kovalchuk for the New, uh, New Jersey Devils and played for Atlanta Trashers as well. And I always lo loved the number 17. So... Uh, it was the first time in my life I, I was able to pick uh, 17s and I was pretty happy at the university. And I, I'm trying to stay with that number. I think it's it's my lucky number right now. <laughs> well, for a player who likes to shoot the puck, you certainly picked a very uh, appropriate favorite player. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. He was shooting the puck a lot back in the days. Still today, but yeah. And then obviously you, you've played a little bit of hockey in 2021 for the Tulsa Oilers in the ECHL. Mm -hmm. And how have you been keeping yourself busy? You know, have you been able to skate and things like that? Uh, yeah, I skated uh, not too many times, but I still touched uh, the ice a bit. But uh, I definitely try to keep uh, a good routine to stay in shape, eat well. Um, every day I try to go for a run. Um, so 
I still have my my hockey game shape, I think, because it's, it's only been a month that I came back from the States. Um, but eating well, having a good routine every day to, to stay active and, and, and sweat a bit every day. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I'm sure you've seen the fixtures list. So if you're not in hockey shape right now, you will be pretty quickly once you get over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. That, that's, that's why I try to keep a good routine because uh, five weeks hockey, it's a lot of hockey. <laughs> three uh, i think it, it, they were saying three games a week so that's a lot <laughs> and you must be itching to get on the ice over here and, meet, and yes. meet your teammates and everyone oh yeah i'm um, really itching um i'm i'm missing i i miss playing hockey even if i was playing hockey in the states i it's only been a month and i'm i'm still uh I'm already excited to play hockey well, i know the the panthers fans are very excited to see you put that panthers jersey on and watch you during the elite series. How do you think it's going to be with no fans in the crowd? Uh, definitely going to be weird. Uh, cause I think every team needs their uh, seventh player. Um, so it's going to be my first experience with no, um, no fans. That's for sure. But I'm sure we'll find a, a way to, to, to feel the, uh, the fans, um, energy, but yeah, I think it's going to be a, a weird experience. That's for sure. Well, thanks for joining us, Kevin, and we'll see you on the ice in a couple of weeks. Thanks for having me, and I'm looking forward to coming to Nottingham.